Happy New Year. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Jeffrey here from Sephora Pro. Maisha also from Sephora Pro. And today's theme or today's video is all about New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. And keeping up with them and yeah. actually doing them. Yeah, my resolution is to maintain my resolution. You need a planner. And some moisturizer. Girl, and I a need a lot of water. Of I need a lot of things. <laughs> so the main thing is staying hydrated. We're talking about other things here, but I think once your skin is hydrated, once your hair is hydrated and all that, everything else is just going to cooperate so much better. Um, and then also trying something new. Yeah. I think, yeah, that's a big one for sure. Like step outside of your beauty box. Like I think a lot of us get locked in our comfort zone. You kind of build out your look. And I think the theme of this year is really more like. more of an attitude. Yeah. People come in, they're like, I want a red. I'm like, but are you ready for red? Be fearless. You need to be ready for it. So just trying some things like trying a metallic if mm -hmm. you're used to matte, trying gloss if you're used to satin, things like that. So you guys know I love, love Sunday Riley, and this is the Tidal Moisturizer. So hence the name, uh, suggesting water has a very sort of watery, liquidy, but still very like souffle mm -hmm. uh, texture to it. So I like it being oily. Like I love a lot of hydration, but I don't want it to feel heavy. Um, so this is something you put on uh, night and day, and it also has a... Uh, uh, sort of an enzymatic pow power about it so you can uh, brighten the skin as mm -hmm. you hydrate, which is really great. Like yeah. My goal for 2017, the end of it, is like not really wear very much foundation. Bomb, I like That's that. That's my goal. I like that. To get my skin That's to a cool. point where I don't really have Respect. to wear foundation. We'll, we'll mm -hmm. check in on it yes. like halfway through the year. We're like... Don't hold me accountable. <laughs> we're we're <hoping. laughs> um, So another kind of resolution is to sort of think smarter and not harder. So how can you minimize your routine or get hydration everywhere? And I think a lot of really cool products are coming out in color, actually, not necessarily in skincare, that are designed to boost hydration and mm -hmm. give you that glow throughout the day, too. I love um, Hydrating Mist. We talked about this Dr. Dennis Gross um, missed uh, earlier today but um, this one's really great for kind of setting and, and just boosting hydration throughout the day so like giving your skin a drink of water like halfway through the day this is a really great product for that. Another product that I'm really loving that's kind of like a skincare color hybrid is the um, Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. This is amazing I keep it in my kit but it's really great for boosting hydration mm -hmm. giving a really beautiful glow and kind of um, just an overall no texture finish and plus like because it's in the click um, applicator actually with a little roller ball, it's really great for on the go. Um, you can toss it in your bag and give you get you a really great coverage, like even, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, after the gym, on your way to work, Yeah, we whatever. have so many things to try. Sometimes I don't get to everything and every single person on my team is raving about it's this. So I have insane. to like you switch out my current foundation. foundations in my kit and put this one in because it does look really beautiful. Yeah, it's just a smooth, radiant finish that gives you kind of like an airbrush effect. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with it. And then also for milk uh, is the cooling water stick. So this is great uh, if you have drier skin or uh, you get kind of inflamed sometimes mm -hmm. like with my eczema, you just kind of whip it out. You can either roll it on, but if you have makeup on already, I just like to touch it to my skin mm -hmm. and just press it in. Um, and it has a cooling factor to it. So really great to have um, in the summertime. I'm sure if it was hot and you put it on the back of your neck, yes. it would feel really great. Ooh. should give this to my mom for like <laughs> personal summers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, Lashes it's... and hot flashes. <laughs> But yeah, it's great. It's easy hydration. You put it in your bag. It's going to stay cold no matter what. So really great just to refresh throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And then um, also, again, kind of going in with a theme of like mixing in your hydration with your foundation products. Like, I mean, really, if it's going to be sitting on your skin all day, it should be doing something for mm -hmm. you, right? And I think a lot of the color brands are really getting on board with that. And if they haven't already, they're really switching that way. Um, this is from Tarte. It's actually still exclusive to Sephora. It's called the Rainforest of the Sea Collection. Mm -hmm. And this particular foundation is awesome. I'm wearing it today. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I really do feel like it gives me like a smooth coverage. I stay hydrated all day, but don't get like mm -hmm. greasy, shiny. Because mm -hmm. it almost has like a powdery sort of Because the problem down. that happens, like I know oily people always look for primers, but when you're dry and you notice like whole patches of your makeup are gone, you'll think that you're not setting properly. But what's happening is you are just not hydrated very well and your skin is eating all the water content out of your makeup. Like sucking and it's sucking it in. all the water content yeah. out. So you're just left with like kind of holes around. And the pigment just literally falls off your face. Yeah. So if wah, wah. you are dry or dehydrated, which I can get very dehydrated even though I'm oily, you want something that has hydration in it so it's not falling off your face, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. So before you check your setting powder, check your hydration levels. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and then also keeping your skin hydrated, it's very important to keep your hair hydrated. Um, I wish I would have known this when I was like in high school. I just, I Girl. would sometimes like shampoo my hair and not condition it. It was so bad. Tell me about um, it. I'm like, <laughs> but uh, this is the Diva Curl No Pool Original. This was kind of one of the first, uh, one of my first ventures into co washing my hair or using a conditioning cleanser. So it's not going to strip your hair, it has no sulfates in it, um, it doesn't lather up. It basically works like a cream cleanser, it works for dry skin. This works for dry hair because when you have curly, hair mm -hmm. the oils don't travel all the way down to the ends that's why like my hair is probably super dry on the ends right now um, but this is really great if you want to keep your hair hydrated also mm -hmm. really great for kids because it doesn't have anything in it that are that'll hurt their eyes so and kind of going along with the whole hair theme is keeping your hair of course super hydrated but bumble and bumble is coming out with a new product definitely go check it out for the new year um, this one's called bumble and bumble's hairdresser invisible oil it's the cleansing oil cream duo so there's a dual chamber in here when you squeeze the product out squeeze you actually from the top squeeze from the top for easier, sure yeah. um, actually I'll just show you when you squeeze it out you get two products. So there's kind of like a clear gel mm -hmm. and then also like a cream inside, which is really great for keeping the hair hydrated. You've got the um, invisible oil in it, which is a proprietary blend of lots of different fun oils. All the like, best oils for your yeah, hair, basically. Yeah, like mm -hmm. sunflower, safflower, some amazing mm -hmm. oils in there that are really gonna give you a lot of shine, um, enhance, you know, and maintain hydration in the hair. Um, and because it's like a cream, cleanser, a lot like it's yours, not gonna it's your not going to strip your hair, which is great. So it's just basically like switching out or thinking about your shampoo and how you can maintain hydration yeah, even through your shampoo. if your hair is tangled after you get out the shower, yeah. you probably are using something that's a bit too stripping. Hmm. If you can't run your fingers through your hair and have it sort of just be smooth, Glide. then your shampoo or whatever you do like is probably silk. a bit too stripping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> silk. My hair is more like wool, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, so one of my favorites is fragrance. I think my dresser is like full now of fragrance. It's yeah, really it's excessive, kind of but I need it all. Um, so I get at least like two or three of these a year for uh, for holiday. Um, and this is great. If you don't know already, you should know. Uh, you get all these mini size fragrances and you can try them out. I think they last for a good week and a half, two weeks, yeah. each one that I have. Um, and then at the end of it, you choose which one is your favorite and you turn it in for um, a full size fragrance. Um, I get these for my dad a lot of times. I get these for my mom because she just takes like seems like years to decide on what fragrance she really well, really loves. Well, that's the thing is like that should be like everybody's resolution is find a scent that you really identify with and rock it for the whole year. Or just change it weekly. Commit. Like, change it weekly. Change like it, I, I do. mean, me too. I do that too. But you know, some people out there are really determined to find that one. This is true. And this is a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. I love these. Last but not least is really about color and trend. So I guess the biggest resolution that we're kind of recommending is try something new, like for real. Break out of your beauty box. Do something that you haven't done in a while. Or like try a new finish, a new texture. Take something that's a classic for you. Like if you wear a red lip, Maybe you try a new texture. So maybe like metallic. Mm. Metallic is huge. So these are some of the Urban Decay uh, metallic lipsticks. And you'll notice if you're shopping for Urban Decay lipsticks, the finish will be on the bottom right under the name, just in case you're curious. So here you go, you can take one. And these are some sort of neutral metallic colors. So I feel like everybody out there wears some sort of brown because 90s thing is in right now. Or you kind of go on the safe side and wear more nudes. Um, but these are metallic versions. I have a trick on right now. And then this one is Backdoor, which is really pretty, sort of a lighter Ooh. version. It's a little bit of like a dark rose gold. That's gorgeous. Which is really beautiful. Um, this one's my favorite. I'm totally gonna rock this one, actually. I think. Yeah, this. I have a Kat Von D Bow and Arrow, and then I put this on with my what gloss. What is that one? Trick. What's it called? Trick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like a gorgeous so kind of metallic So it just gave me like more of a reflective sheen. sort of look. Yeah, mm -hmm. which is nice. Or, you know, even if you're just introducing it to your normal lip color, maybe you just pop a little bit of the metallic mm -hmm. right in the center mm -hmm. to give it a little bit do That's more dimension. Yeah, kind of what I did. Like my bow and arrow, you guys are probably getting tired of me wearing it. I mm -hmm. love it so much. So I want to change it up a little bit yeah. more. Um, but these are gorgeous. They have this metallic hot pink one. I forget Urban? what it's called. Urban. Like, um, it's beautiful. It has like little tiny glitters in it. You guys should try it. Uh, uh, just try something new. I feel like if you're used to a brown mm -hmm. and you're a little bit uncomfortable with the reds maybe just start slow yeah just mm -hmm. switch it with texture it's, it's, a, it's a safer about, way to kind of try something it's more different. about your attitude than what you see in a magazine mm -hmm, totally 
Um, and then, you know, again, maybe you try a new trend too. Mm -hmm. So like Huda Beauty is really awesome because she's got like a lot of really cool metallic pa um, palette, this cool metallic palette that mm -hmm. has a lot of like fun shadows at the top to play with. But then you're getting a lot of those like trendy sort of rusty wine colors that everybody's rocking right now. Mm -hmm. So maybe you just find a, a signature palette that works for you. Maybe that's your New Year's resolution too is like find the one palette instead of finding the one fragrance. Maybe find the one palette. I buy palettes all the time. She's like, I can't, I accessorize too much. All the palettes. I have on. <laughs> I need a million. What I like about this is you have the metallics, but you also have the mattes. I have on the mm -hmm. Tardis Pro palette uh, that like really pretty green color, but I also put some warm mattes in my crease to balance it a little bit so it's mm -hmm. not like shine, 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 shine. So when you're wearing these, it's really nice to put these in the crease to sort of ground the actual shimmer look, which is really pretty. Love that. Cool. So that's it. Uh, hopefully this inspires you guys to uh, stay accountable for your resolutions. I feel like I should <laughs> stay like, accountable. Yeah, stay accountable. I feel like I should like, you know, make a declaration and make you guys hold We'll me stay on top of each other about our New yes. Year's resolutions. You guys look out for each other too. If you guys have any special resolutions, uh, leave them below in the comment section and be sure to subscribe so that you know what we're posting on a regular basis. That shouldn't be your resolution. That should have already been done. Yeah. Do it. Press the button. It's okay. been, been done. <laughs> yeah. So until next time guys, we'll see you. Ciao, bye.